Block 47 of the Tunisian Sampler Afghan is the Bicolor Stripes block. And this block is made uh, using two different stitches and two different colors of yarn. And to start, you chain an odd number, any number. I've used 15 for this sample here to show you. You bring up a loop in each of the chains, and I've got 15 loops on the hook. And now I'm going to change. I'm going to call the yellow color A, and I'm changing to color B, my coral. Which I'll just kind of temporarily knot it here. And I'm going to, and you're going to do this, this is the same procedure with every row. When you do the first half of the row and you have all the loops on the hook, you're going to change to um, the next color. So now I'm changing to color B and I'm going to yarn over, draw through one, and then yarn over and draw through two all the way across. Okay, so I finished the second half of the first row, which is your base row, and now I'm ready to start doing the pattern. And with color B, and this is going to be the same for every color B row, you start out with your yarn in the front, and you insert into the first post, and then leave that loop on the hook, bring your yarn to the back, and do a simple stitch in the next post. And we're going to do this all the way across insert into the next, leave it on, simple stitch. Okay, so I've finished the first half of row two, and it's time to drop color B and pick up color A. I'm going to yarn over, draw through one, then yarn over and draw through two, all the way across. Now, for the second half of this one, we're going to start out with a simple stitch. Then So it's the same all the way across. And you'll find as you go along in this pattern that you're always going to simple stitch in the same color yarn, you know, into the loop that's the same color as the yarn you're working with. So like here, I'm just holding on to that one. Here, I'm doing a simple stitch. Bring yarn in the front, insert, bring the yarn to the back, 
simple stitch and then of course you always simple stitch into the end. Now it's time to drop the yarn, bring up color B, yarn over, draw through one, then yarn over, draw through two, all the way across. Okay, so the yarn's in the front here, and then I simple stitch into that one. So essentially, and you can see the pattern being formed, essentially every other stitch is being pulled up from the previous row. and the opposite stitch is being a simple stitch. Let me just show you what it looks like when it's all done. This is another one that I like, but what I discovered was that it's it's a very, uh, even though it's soft feeling, it's also dense. And I discovered as I was trying to attach it to my sashing, that my sashing was starting to ripple because my simple stitch rows were taller than these rows, and these rows are definitely squashed because you're, you know, every other stitch is being pulled up from the previous row. So what I decided to do was do two of these rows for every one row of sashing. And I would complete a row, go ahead and do my sashing, come back, do the second row, and when, or when it was time, well, I do the first row this direction, do the sashing, come back, finish the first half of the uh, second half of the first row, do the first half of the second row, and insert into that same stitch, and then come back. And that's how I did it on this side. On this side, I just decided every other row I picked a color. Um, in this particular case, it was color B. Um, I would go ahead and then do this sashing, and come back. And then when I was doing color A, I would just go ahead, stop here, come back. And then when I was on color B, I'd go ahead and do that sashing. So it'll make more sense when you're actually doing it than me just talking about it. But that worked out well, my, and my uh, sashing wasn't so ripply looking. It's, it's a really cool pattern, and even though it's dense, it's soft feeling. Um, I can see a lot of uses for it. And of course, with the correct colors, it would... You know, I'm using high contrast colors here, plus I'm trying to use leftover balls from previous previous ones since I'm using two colors in a block. But this is block 47, the bicolor stripes block. We are winding down the last column of the afghan. Thanks for watching. Bye.